Action. Guys! <laughs> yes. Ooh. He's in the shit as a kukuana vitu. Fake! <laughs> yeah, sometimes I buy cheap watch. This watch I just. <laughs> anyway, so in the previous video, I've taken you through a tour coming into my home and the living room and the dining room. Um, I wasn't able to take you through the the bedrooms because we sometimes we have guests but today is a good day to show you guys the bedrooms guest house <laughs> yangu sio malaya yeah we purely host family and guests who are here intentionally for work so sana watu wa kanisa so sometimes you might come here they've taken the whole room and it's like jesus jesus Sasa ngine unaweza kuja hapa upate wajeru wa ish ni lusti ka sometimes you might come here and find spanish people and they're like hey i'm yours <laughs> but anyway let me take you through the tour in the bedrooms this is the first bedroom i really like this bedroom uh when i first uh, got this house i really liked it uh yellow is not my color uh, it's never been my color, but I really like it because one it's I don't know there's something about it And then at night you can open these windows Except for the mosquito Except for the mosquito, but you can open this window and then uh, You can get like good aeration uh, Also, yeah, I don't know like I told you this was an old house uh, I was low on budget so I wasn't able to do this floss but I think for me I think it's still been okay kwa sababu ni zile do you call them the plastic tiles yeah they're not very cold they're not as cold as ceramic tiles I really like it currently John John who manages this place this is his bedroom I don't know why we introduce man that's why you see everything is here everything around it's around here yeah stuff Victor's with Victor's he keeps them there and this is the first bedroom. Let them know if you have an idea of what we can do. But that's usually a private bedroom. Kostiake Kochini Kidogo. And then this bedroom. So this second bedroom is actually the master bedroom. Uh, I'll show you. You see this color? We were just playing, like I said, I was playing with colors, you know, like when you get your money and you don't know what you do and you're excited about everything and you want to be part of it. The painter was really good. It's the same guy who painted my mom's house. But yeah, this color, we mixed it with that cream and then this. So here we have bunk beds. You're probably asking yourself why we have bunk beds. So, Wazungu don't mind and they don't most of them don't bargain if not all i mean there are people who we consider as family <laughs> yeah but you know like why people don't mind reason i don't like hosting africans is they're very picky and very choosy when i have this we charge per bed so i'm able to make more money <laughs> This is the master bedroom, but we had it very special, so we we put in bunk bed. So here can host four people, but imagine I've hosted eight people here. Wazunga like, yeah, we can share. We don't mind. We don't mind. And they're not bargaining. They're not talking about anything, price reduction, nothing, nothing, nothing. Then the bathroom is here. What I like about this bathroom is here we have a bathtub. So. On a stressful day, I can come and block it and waste water. You know what I mean? And just lay here with my tea. <laughs> no champagne. Yeah, but it's very spacious. I really like it. And then we have this mirror here. You still have a light here on top of the mirror. But I think I stopped being dining on that eye. <laughs> yeah, I always kept nice and clean. Uh, John is doing a really good job. Shout out to John. And this asshole. Yeah, here it gets it gets like a, mosquitoes come in because we have we have the the green fence, so you see a lot of mosquitoes inside here. But that was the this is the master bedroom, and I really I really I love it. I love it. 
Yeah. Come, come with me. Uh, come with me. I'm gonna show you the next bedroom, which is the third bedroom. Yeah, so this is this is the third bedroom and uh, all these bedrooms are special. This one I love because of my color. Turquoise blue and white. How does that look? Yeah, uh, it, also, it also has bunk beds here. Can also host uh, four people. Yeah, I think the bed the beds are getting old and now they're starting to shake. These people are sexing here a lot, yeah? This is strong. John has to check on these people are sexing here a lot, so they're shaking the bed. <laughs> get, now I know you get you've gotten used to me. But yeah, this is white and no, this used to be white actually, and this is turquoise. This has really changed over time, and I think they've also killed mosquitoes on the wall. Now you know why I said in the previous video that we're gonna do an extreme makeover soon. And I don't know if I want to have bank beds. Bank beds come with good money. Uh, but I don't really know. Yeah, then I think I really needed much, a lot of it. But I don't really know if I need a lot of guests right now. I've hosted up to 25 guests here, you know. This bed, it's about five bedroom house. That's, those are just three bedrooms. I'm taking you through the other bedrooms. Yeah, and I think I've really tried a lot of crazy stuff here, like, you know, bringing in new stuff. But um, this is actually, you're looking at it like any African watching this, they probably would not think of stay. They want to stay in five star. White people and foreigners in general, not just white people, foreigners in general from Western countries, from the Western world they love this because it gives them the home experience and they pay a lot for it just so you know but africans want to go to five star six star they don't they don't need that they have it you know but i think it's the poverty mentality that makes you feel like you have to stay in a five star yeah so this bed's actually not made right now i just told you we had guests to just check out usually when guests check out when guests check out, <laughs> forget about that. <laughs> when guests check out, we clear everything. We can't put the bed sheets and still get other guest books so that we are able to keep them clean and not dusty. So, so come with me to the fourth bedroom. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me now. Let me know if you're enjoying the tour. No, when? Ah, maybe yeah. Huh? Ah, Yeah, bedroom, bedroom four. Bedroom four. This is interesting. Reason why I tell you I, I like to do crazy stuff. Even myself. Oh, I can't explain. <laughs> but I love this. I love this bedroom. I designed this bed. The guy didn't make it well, but I really designed it. Um, I'm thinking of designing another one. So this and these are very separate. This guy did it very Kenyaji. That's, you know, Kenyan fundis. But I love this bedroom. <laughs> yeah, so this bed, the idea of this bed, where did I get it from? Um, the reason I had this is I thought, I want to wake up and look at the king himself, you know? And the king usually is in the mirror. The queen is in the mirror. Yeah, so I thought when I wanna wake up, but then I realized in this house I can't stick to one bedroom, I'm always moving around. Yeah, so this bed is really low. It's good, it's precious, it's VIP, and it's private. But the interesting thing that I wanted to show you is this bedroom three and bedroom four, they share a washroom. I don't know how the lighting is gonna be, yeah. This is the washroom. Again, the washroom is very... It's, it's, it's together with the shower. The shower is here, the, the, 
the toilet is here. Yeah, it's also spacious. Just I realized that for extra people, it's really difficult to be here. They have to turn like this. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I realized. And the door can't go out. The door has to move in. Yeah, they also have a mirror here in the sink. I mean, this is like eight years old, so you don't expect everything to be brand new. So that's what we're doing. I make extreme makeover soon. Yeah, come to come with me. I'm gonna show you bedroom number five and the last bedroom. Number five and the last bedroom. This is bedroom number five and it's the last bedroom, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. And also, again, like I was telling, I was maximized. I was hungry. I wanted that money. But so I thought of another bunk bed here. <laughs> and this bedroom also used to be my bedroom. <laughs> reason why it used to be my bedroom is because it has a reason why it used to be my bedroom is because it I'll show you. It has this back door. You can guess for yourself. <clears throat> so when I, ha when I have guests and um, you really want to respect business. So when you come into your bedroom. <laughs> my cameraman and the director are laughing. When you come into your bedroom. <laughs> you want to use the back door. Yeah, usually sometimes I would come late. I don't want to use the front door. You know what I mean? Don't think what you're thinking. Why do you have underwears? <laughs> yeah, I love old underwears. You always see me on old underwears, even when I have new underwears. Yeah, but this bedroom, you can know the bedroom that I have. By the color. Turquoise blue, my color always. Yeah. It's also a nice bedroom because in the middle of the night I love meditating I don't smoke weed but I love just being in silence that's why I love this home so very much you know yeah so I would step up without having to use the front door and I can chill out here guys let me know what's your, what's your take on it and also let me know if us playing with these colors is something you'd like us to do again but I probably want to make it modern if I had enough money will bring the building down and be like a nice nice guest house like private houses private rooms with washrooms and bathrooms and everything inside mm -hmm. yeah that's about the bedroom I'm gonna take you through the kitchen so this bedroom and the bedroom so this bedroom in the bedroom that I showed you, John's bedroom, they share a washroom and the bathroom. So this is the the, the, cho, the trailer and this is the bathroom. Yeah, I don't know, you've had laxity. Mm, this is the sink. Yeah, so this is the sink, the kitchen sink, or the sink people clean their hands when they want to go to the dining. And yeah, this is, oh, this is the kitchen, guys. Hmm. Hmm. I want to explain something. This is the kitchen table. Also, don't join like that loves to work here. So this is John's working table. John loves the kitchen. And um, this black floor tiles, I really love them. So I did them also in my mom's house. Mm. And we, if we're doing extreme over, makeover, I think we have to change this. We really have to change this. What's this in your traditional language? I don't know, in your native language, you can tell us. Yeah, but you see like 
the plates are full here but this this doesn't really look good like i said when i was making it i was just broke man and then uh our clothes stay here we can't keep them in the bedroom we are always uh nomads we move migrants when the guests come you have to move so imagine carrying your box every time so that's the place we keep them and then they sink and yeah that's pretty much it guys that's a tour of my small palace in Kibera. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, Kibera is dangerous. Kibera is doing it. Where when you are Kiliako is dangerous. Kibera is a very nice place. Mm. If you want an experience in Kibera, we also do tours right now. We have an Inuka tour that we just launched. So you can come experience the guest house and then we'll take you around the hood, tell you stories. Tukudangaje kidogo, vinye sijui hapa ni harithuku wa likufa, sijui wa inaina, sijui ma... Yeah. I'm going to take you out through the kitchen door. And I'm going to show you my backyard. Who does that? Actually, guys, I'm not going to show you the backyard. But if you want to see my backyard, let me know in the comment section. Only at Victors with Victors, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I'm deeply humbled to have you as my supporters and fan followers, subscribers. I appreciate you. Peace.